The rules of pouring a perfect pint are simple. Just learn and understand a few fundamentals, then voila! A cold, delicious, and perfectly frothy beer at your fingertips. Coincidentally, beer logic can also be applied to taking effortless photos. Let us quench your curiosity. Let's say the goal is to pour one perfect pint of beer. First, there are two key components to any beer tap. The tap and the regulator. The tap can only be opened or closed. If the tap is open, beer comes out. If it's closed, no beer flows into your empty, chilled glass. And the regulator, it, well, regulates, hence its name, and controls how quickly or slowly the beer comes pouring out when the tap is open. If the regulator is wide open, the beer will flow out very quickly. But if it's nearly closed, the beer will come out in just a trickle. So how then is this related to photography, one might ask? Imagine the regulator is the aperture and the tap is the shutter. The more open the aperture, the less time your shutter has to get your perfect shot. Now let's take this alcoholic analogy one step further. If we pour a beer quickly, our glass might look like this. And if we pour it slowly, it will look similar to this. In relation to photography, the clear beer is the amount of the photo that's in focus, and the head is how much of the photo will look blurry. And finally, let's talk about ISO. Imagine ISO is alcohol percentage. If you have higher alcohol percentage, you need to pour less to get that drink. Like photography, if you have a higher ISO, the less light you need to get that image. But be warned, a straight shot of whiskey comes with consequences, like burning the back of your throat. Just like a high ISO will result in more graininess in your image. Who knew photography could make a person so thirsty? For more information and professional guidance, visit calgaryphotos.ca.